Alright, what's up guys? Today we're going to be trying out a challenge. Now, Chapter 5 just released the other day, and with Chapter 5 they've added gun attachments on your guns, and with that comes a new type of chest. It's like a gun box. Basically it's just a little thing on the wall or wherever that if you pick it up it will give you a gun with attachments on it. Today we're going to be seeing if we can't uh, win a game using only those guns from that. Obviously I can still use heals and mobility items and grenades, but any gun I get has to be from a little gun chest. And uh, we're just going to hopefully get something good here. Now I did already land this location and there are a couple gun boxes if you just go down here, follow this arrow, and uh, down the escalator stairs, whatever you want to call it, and right here is going to be Jonesy, and a couple loot boxes on the wall that y'all can just take. Now, we're going to hope for something good here, purple gone already, that's really good. Alright, we got ourselves an AR, that's really good. I'm going to keep the automatic shotgun. I think that's everything that seems to be good that I really want. Take that. Maybe I can get a better rarity for a gun. I look I don't like it. Okay. Obviously I can still use the little attachment workstation, which there are a lot around if you find them in a vault that is. But they only spawn in vaults. I'm gonna try my best to show y'all everything that's new in the season, but the bot, lay them up real quick. Now it is really easy to get gold, which is really nice. Came out the other day and I already have max gold. Because um, for the attachment workbenches you need like 75 gold to change your attachment on them. So, really good that these are a thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show y'all everything new in this season, as there's a lot of changes they made in this season, including changes to the movement, but I'll see what I can show y'all and before I die. Well, I just saw somebody over here. Uh, oh. Where is he? Is he over here? Probably up here. Yep. Get out of that building. Where'd he go? Ah. There he is. Alright, I was actually a pretty good strat, I wish I could pick up those guns with some better attachments, but can't, fortunately. Alright, keep on moving here, make our way towards, I don't know, and I think this is an unnamed POI over here, but we're going to make our way towards over here. Now, as you can see, whenever you walk, it's like a jog, and uh, crouch walking's a lot slower now. And on top of that, uh, sprinting's just a lot slower. You do get your sprint back faster, though. Oh, yeah. yeah, you do get your sprint back a lot faster. Stamina regen's a lot faster, but do overall move a little bit slower in this season. At some sort of like train stop. Now these are the new cars that they added. One's like a G wagon, pretty nice. And then the Whiplash isn't really new, but what's new about the Whiplash is whatever car you own in Rocket League it will give you that car whenever you hop in a Whiplash. It's pretty cool. I don't think I need the car here, so I'm gonna hop out of the car, but. Really cool, nice that they added that you can 
customize the car to your fitting and whatever. This guy's running. Okay. Take those nobility. Now the new guns, I've been using a couple of them as you can see. There's a new shotgun, new AR, new SMG, and a new sniper. Really nice. Uh, there's two new shotguns, two new ARs. One's like a remake of the SCAR, which is actually really nice. I like it. I think there's only one new sniper. There's two new SMGs as well. Uh, like a new grapple, like a grapple blade, which is pretty good. I need some shields if I can find them. Uh, fishing's back in the game, so if you find a fishing rod, you can fish. I think I cleaned up everybody from over on this side of the map. Oh. Oh, I suck with snipers. I really am not good with snipers. Can't stick to bloom. If I see anything better mobility-wise, I'll probably drop the sniper. Like I just mentioned, I am really bad with snipers in this game. They do have forecast towers back in the game, as well as AI. Which is kind of a, I don't know, it's a bit iffy. I don't have problems with the AI, but I don't necessarily like the AI either. So it's a bit interesting. This is the map and what it looks like, obviously. Pretty nice map. Uh, there are new things called medallions. And if you kill a boss in a certain area that holds a medallion, that medallion will drop. You can pick it up, and whenever you hold a medallion in your inventory, it will regain shields, but be marked on the map for other people to get. So it's like kind of like a risk. But it's really good if you can find them. Oh, the storm's coming, and I need to go. The storm does feel like it moves a bit faster in this season. I don't know if that's something they change or if it feels that way, but. It does feel like it moves a bit faster during the late game. It could just be what's in my feel. Obviously, everybody knows about the train that was in the trailer. I probably wouldn't recommend landing the train though, as there's really not much good loot on the train. The train really just isn't really that good to survive. Hit me. I really need to get this down. Not good. But yeah, train's not really that great but loot wise. Really good at that. We had some good loot. Unfortunately, I can't take any of that though. It has like one chest that you can hack, and that chest will give you a whole bunch of blue loot. And it has like two normal chests on it like that are built into the walls, but overall it's good for starting off, but it's really not that great late game. I feel most likely have purple legendary stuff late game. How far is next circle? Use this car to get the next circle here. But overall I'm really liking some of the changes in this new season. It's really not that bad. Uh, the movement does feel a bit weird, but nothing I can't really get used to. A people holding medallions over here. Three people holding medallions. These little yellow circles you see are people holding medallions on the map. Somebody's capturing that cache. Now, I really don't expect to get the win here. <laughs> My guns aren't really that great. Anybody with a legendary shotgun will probably just kill me. But, let's see what I can't do. That is the medallion person. You saw his uh, body go blue like that when I took his shield. That's because he's regaining shields again. So 
that is the guy that holds the medallion right there. Probably also the guy capturing that cache. That is a cliff I just fell off of. I really need to find some shields and or some health here. Not doing it on those regards. The vending machine there, I might be able to buy some. Slap barrels are back. I don't know about slap juice, but slap barrels are back, which is pretty good. Buy two biggies. Uh, one of the other major changes that they made in the season is the ability. I wish I could take that in. The ability to move and heal. You'll start gradually gaining whatever you pop, whenever you move now. What just happened there? Who killed that guy? Ah. Uh, that good? Yeah, that's you. I don't like this. Okay, I might just get in this car and dip. I really don't want to fight a shield player. Yeah. Go up on top of this hill. Shield and zero build is actually really, really good. Really, really cool. He does some damage from and he holds the medallion with his back right there on the arm. He's really messing me up right now. Oh no! Ooh! Take all that. Can't pick that gun up. And there's more footsteps on me. I need to go. Not good. Got me to pick up this gun. Oh, that's the wrong one. Drop this. Oh, drop it. Thank you. Vending machines are back. Very searchable thing. As you can see, I'm regaining my shield here just from having this medallion. Uh, there was a guy that pushed me on top of that hill. Six players left. I might actually be able to get the win here. I'm not 100% certain I will be able to though. As that guy almost just wrecked me with a legendary shotgun. I did however get, as you can see, Peter Griffin's medallion. As Peter is a boss on the map that you can kill and I'm at his house right now. If you land that snooty step, you will be able to kill Peter. He is a killable boss over here. It'll be somewhere in this house, or on the outskirts of the house, just hiding. And there is also a vault that you can loot. Let's see, yeah, he already looted it, okay. Oh, but he left. Some of the gun boxes. Which is really nice for me. I really appreciate that. Appreciate that guy. Even some good old gun boxes for me to loot. Now let me get out of here before the storm pushes and kills me. And then I'm gonna get all that. Get that out. Five people left. And I'm back over to where this I knew it. He has a medallion too, so he's regaining shield. Not the greatest for me. He 
pushing that? He has high ground all the way up there and a medallion, so even if I do damage to him, he's just gonna regen it. Play zip lining over here. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, there's another medallion player somewhere on me. I know exactly where he is, but he's around. I didn't mean fighting. That. It's like two people fighting. A third party if I can. Alright, three people left. Take those cluster clingers. Is this gonna take me back in the storm? Yep. Alright, get me out. Now, these are kinda like the new porta potty things. Whenever you hop into a little sewer thing, it will travel you to a pre desired location. It's already been pre planned. You can't really choose where location you wanna go to. This guy is, uh, he just wants to sit up there on that hill for the rest of his They did add bullet drop back into the game, so that's something you have to account for. This guy is, uh, the guy on me. Oh, he has a ballistic shield, too. Okay. This, uh... Guys, still up on top of that hill. Yep. Walk back here. And he's just gonna camp me out on top of that hill. I, it might be wraps here. I won't lie. Might die the storm, I have no mobility. And this guy is just camping on top of here. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah. Not much I can do. Yeah. Alright, well. Third place. It's not bad. The storm is just so far and I had no mobility. It was still over.